What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Coach Malik Show. Today, we are talking powerlifting versus bodybuilding. So right now, if you're listening to this on the podcast, I'm driving into 24-Hour Fitness. I'm about to get my workout in this morning. And again, powerlifting and bodybuilding is one of the most controversial, you know, should I do powerlifting movements or exercises? Should I do bodybuilding exercises? These are the questions that I, or the things that you should be asking yourselves just if you want to do powerlifting or bodybuilding or if you're debating it, which one you should do. The number one thing is what is your objective? Right? What is your goal? Are you trying to lift heavier weights? Are you trying to look better? Are you trying to be more powerful? Are you trying to perform better in a certain sport? Are you just trying to look good going to the beach with your shirt off? All right, what is it? That's what I first start with. If you are trying to gain strength, gain power, you know, get better at a certain sport, let's say basketball, trying to be more explosive, uh, football, trying to be more powerful, then I would recommend doing powerlifting type movements. Now, if you don't care about that stuff and you you're really just trying to work out to look good and you just want to be the guy at the beach with the six pack with the good arms, then you would be doing more, not as much power movements, but more movements to gain aesthetics, right? To sculpt your body, to sculpt your muscles, to look better. Those are the things you're doing, all right? So number one is what is your objective and what is your goal? You should not be doing power lifting, right? Or bench press. I mean, you could be doing these things to gain muscle, but if you are only doing those things, you will not be sculpting your body like you want to if you're trying to go for aesthetics or if you're trying to look good, right? That should be more of a secondary thing or you hit bench press or the big compound movement in the beginning and then the rest of your workout is isolation, things like that. Number two, this is the thing I always say again, number two, what types of exercises are you performing, right? If you're powerlifting, you're gonna be performing different exercises than if you just wanted to do sculpting or aesthetics or just to look good, right? So what you wanna focus on are, okay, if I wanna do powerlifting, these are the types of exercises I should be doing. Number one, squat, right? The, the, the three main biggest lifts are the squat, the deadlift, and the bench press. Those three are the main ones. Some other lifts you can focus on if you're powerlifting, pull-ups, all right? Bent over rows, all right? All these things are multi-joint movements. Squat presses or over just standing overhead press. These things are gonna help uh, because you're working multi-joints, you're pushing heavy weight. You know, you're gonna be able to push a lot more weight on an overhead press or on a squat press or on a jerk than you would on a seated dumbbell press, all right? Or on a machine shoulder press, okay? So you wanna figure out, okay, if I'm going powerlifting, which exercises am I doing? Squat, deadlift, you know, power cleans, bench press, those type of movements. If you're leaning more towards the bodybuilding, more aesthetics, the more I wanna look good for the beach, which is totally fine, then you wanna focus on more isolated exercises, more isolation exercises. They're gonna focus on that certain muscle. So let's say I'm doing biceps, right? Now I wanna focus on, not only do I wanna do barbell curls, but I wanna do alternating dumbbell curls. I wanna do preacher curls, hammer curls, cable curls, all right? You wanna do, you know, not as much, uh, you know, compound movements, but more isolation movements, hitting the muscles at different angles. Let's say I was hitting back and I'm focusing on bodybuilding. Well, maybe I'll start with pull-ups or a lap pull-down. Then I'm gonna go to a row, whether it be seated row, bent over row, single arm row, you know, I'm gonna focus on that. And then I move on to a machine. Maybe I'm doing reverse flies or I'm doing machine seated row or I'm doing cable rows, whatever it is, but you wanna hit the muscle if you're focusing on bodybuilding and you're focusing on aesthetics, you wanna focus on hitting the muscles at different angles uh, with multiple types of exercises that are isolation. Not compound movements, isolation. Focus on one muscle group, whether it be the latissimus dorsi or the lats, whether it be the bicep, the tricep, you're focusing on one specific muscle group and you are burning it out to exhaustion. Which brings me up to the third point of you know whether I should do bodybuilding or powerlifting movements. How much volume is in your workout, right? So if I'm gonna do powerlifting, what's your volume like? How many sets are you doing? How many reps are you doing? How many reps are you doing during bodybuilding, right? I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're gonna do powerlifting, your volume needs to be high as hell, right? And when I say high, it doesn't mean that you're doing high amount of reps, but the volume, the intensity, the amount of weight that you're pushing throughout the whole workout. So let's say I'm doing powerlifting and today is bench press day. 
I'm going to hit bench press probably in between anywhere between six and 10 sets. All right, yes, six to 10 sets on the bench press. I'm doing very, you know, little reps, three, five, you know, six, maximum eight, because you want to focus on getting as much weight on that bar and you want to focus on as much force, as much power as you can get it up. So obviously if you're gonna put on more weight, you're not gonna be able to do more reps, but that's the point, because you want to build strength. You are a power lifter. You want to build your power. So it's gonna be a lot more sets with very, you know, less reps, you know, three to eight, three to five, three to six. Your rest is going to be low. Look, you are pushing a lot of weight. Even though you're not doing it for a lot of reps, you know, you're only going three to five reps, you are still pushing a lot of weight, which is very taxing on your muscles. So you're gonna wanna give it time. You're gonna wanna give it time before your next set. You're gonna wanna rest at least a minute and a half. You wanna get all the energy. Think of it like this. Every time you do a set, you are emptying energy out of the tank. All right, your muscles the tank. You are emptying energy out of the tank. Now, what your rest period does when you rest is it recovers the energy back into your tank. All right, so the less you rest, the less energy you'll have refueled back into your tank, which means the less weight you'll be able to push the next set. So what you wanna do is rest enough time to where your muscles recovered, there's more energy back in the tank, and now when you go to your third set, your fourth set, you're able to still push a lot of weight, even increase it, because you've given your muscle enough time to rest, enough time to recover. Now on the flip side, if you're going bodybuilding, this is the exact opposite, everything just changes now. So look, Maybe I don't wanna lift heavy weight, maybe I don't wanna be a power lifter, but I wanna look good. I wanna build more aesthetics. I want my muscle to get a good pump. I want to, you know, build that sculpting that, you know, has that six pack, has big arms. Then you wanna focus on this type of volume, all right? Still high volume, but you're gonna focus on lower sets, all right, maybe three sets, higher reps, 10, 15, you know, 20 max, I wouldn't go above 20, but definitely in that eight to 15 range, all right? Eight to 15 reps, and listen, your rest is lower. Rest, because you're refilling your tank for the power lifter, for the heavy lifts. Well, now you're not lifting that much weight. You're not lifting as much weight, so because you're, you're doing more reps, so you don't need to rest as much. You know, your body's not being as taxed as it would if there was a lot of weight on it. So even though I'm doing 15 reps, which is more than my five reps before, because I'm not doing as much weight, my muscles aren't as um, tired, aren't as exhausted, so they'll be able to recover a lot faster. So for bodybuilding, for aesthetics, you're gonna wanna rest anywhere from 30, no rest, sometimes no rest is good, but somewhere around 30 seconds to 60 seconds max. If it's a really tough set, I'll give you a minute and a half, but no more than a minute and a half. Anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds is kinda like that prime for bodybuilding and aesthetics. Now I'll repeat that for volume for power lifting versus bodybuilding power lifting if you want to get strong you want to gain power high amount of sets low reps your weight's gonna be a lot higher which means you need to rest more bodybuilding exact opposite all right you're gonna go low sets high reps low weight and low rest that's bodybuilding that is going to help more blood to your muscles. That's gonna help you get a better pump. That's gonna help you sculpt the muscle better. And it's gonna help build the muscles conditioning. The fourth point, and this is kind of going back to that first point, is what are you trying to go for, all right? Just think about that. What are you trying to go for? Are you trying to go for strength? Are you trying to go for power? Are you trying to go for the looks, the aesthetics? And if you could figure that out, then you could figure out if you should be doing power lifting movements or bodybuilding. That's what I recommend is first start off with what are you going for? What is your objective? What is your goal? Then you move on to, okay, I know my goal, power lifting or it's bodybuilding. Now, what's your type? of exercises well I just told you if you chose power lifting man you're gonna be doing some compound lifts you're gonna be doing some bench press some squats some deadlifts again maybe some pull-ups some bodyweight dips things that are multi-joint movements squat presses bent over rows right RDL to rows if you're doing bodybuilding you're folks on the isolation the barbell curls the preacher curls the tricep extensions with the ropes, the overhead extensions maybe with the dumbbell, shoulder lateral raises, leg extensions for the quads, hamstring curls on the machine for the hamstrings. Those are the types of exercises. And then going back to the volume, 
So that's my take on powerlifting versus bodybuilding. Hopefully you got something out of it. Again, if you're listening to this on the podcast, I would really appreciate if you go and leave a really quick review on the podcast, how you like it, give it a five-star review if you thought so. If not, then don't do that. And if you're watching this on video, give it a like, give it a subscribe. I really, really appreciate every single one of you guys paying attention to the Coach Malik show, uh, subscribing to my show, submitting your questions to the show. I can't be more appreciative of you guys guys and I hope you continue along the journey as always guys I will see you next workout